sorry guys, but you're just plain stupid. You're dumb and stupid f fuckers. I can't find any nice words for that. To another episode of Motoganda and sorry already that this is not the promised 100 subscribers special but apparently some news came up which I wanted to cover first so the next video most probably will then finally be the 100 subscriber special and this time it's not even something political, well, still kind of, but more something every moto vlogger should be concerned of. Of course, yesterday a German court ruled over the case of a German moto vlogger who basically used to speed a lot in his videos. And, well, in the German community had a quite big fan base, if I remember correctly, around a hundred thousand subscribers or so. And, well, this guy found it actually pretty funny to race. I mean, nothing bad about racing at all. I mean, we all know it's a lot of fun on a bike to go fast, but he decided he likes to do that in the city. And well, the speeding and ignoring red lights and basically ignoring every traffic rule in the book was more or less his thing. Of course, if you check out his videos, you will find quite a lot of them, him either speeding or doing some crazy stuff. And, well, nothing wrong with doing some crazy stuff. I mean, obviously, we all do that. But, well, you should do only stuff as crazy as, well, in worst case, you hurt yourself but not that you hurt others. And that is exactly what he did. Of course, if you race through a city, you might be lucky once or twice or three times or even more. But at a certain point, you will crash. And that's basically what happened. He first crashed into a car, then basically did a hit and run, so trying to get away with it, and while on the run, he basically crashed into an older guy, pedestrian, and killed him. And if I take all that into account and then I see he just got two years and nine months in jail. Come on, that's that's ridiculous. That's no, I mean the prosecutor was asking for, if I remember correctly, seven years and two months or something like that. Which, in my opinion, sounds way more valid for what he did than two years and nine months. And yes, the guy which he ran over was drunk, and yes, he crossed the streets while he was not supposed to since he ignored the pedestrian red lights as well. But still, if 
he would have gone at a let's say normal speed not even saying legal speed but the normal speed so in that case most probably he would hey if he would have gone on a normal speed rather than racing then I think he could have either avoided the crash or at least just injuring him without killing him. But obviously if you're on the run after a hit and run, and especially if you're that guy, you don't give a shit about the rules. And basically this guy is a fucking disgrace for motor vloggers at all. And I mean, especially in Germany, where you have no speed limit on the Autobahn. I get the point you want to race a quick bike. Yeah, sure, I would want to. But then go out on the Autobahn and race there. If you crash there, well, you might kill yourself, but you don't kill innocent people. And just one more word to at least some of his fans, of course, when he got arrested in 2016 for it, there was kind of an outrage calling for letting him free and yeah, it was the fault of the older guy and so on and so forth. Sorry guys, but you're just plain stupid. You're damn and stupid f fuckers. I can't find any nice words for that. He killed a human while racing in the city. Just imagine if you're one of those fans, if you would have run over one of your relatives or one of your friends or so. Would you still ask, like, let him free, let him free? I don't think so. Of course, basically he's just shedding a bad light on all motor vloggers. I mean, I know not all motor vloggers, or basically just a very, very, very few motor vloggers are like him, but people do generalize. So, with that misjudgment of just two years and nine months obviously if someone knows about that and you tell him well I'm a motor vlogger ah so you're one of those guys who run over people and just for their fame don't get punished accordingly which I think was the main reason why he just got this low sentence and that's even the reason why I don't name him I mean obviously if you do some research uh, you will easily find him and his channel but I don't want to play into his hands getting even more fame so I would actually like to know your opinion about it. What do you think? Is two years and nine months for killing someone while being on a hit and run a fair judgment or should have been more or maybe even less? Just let me know about it in the comments and if you enjoyed this video Obviously make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it all over social media and with all of your friends and in any other way you can think of. And obviously don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well so you don't miss any upcoming videos, especially the next one which I promise this time will really be the 100 subscribers special. And I see you in the next video.